On the right hand side, we're going to go group effects and monitors. So this one is going to be all about sends. So we have 24 total sends that we can send our instruments or vocal mics to. So at the top, we can select the channel config. They can all be stereo, mono, or IEM if you have bought that option for version 15 plus. We can change all the sources to each individual send uh, by clicking on the change all sources, uh, which is a great feature. So if you wanted to switch everything to pre-fader, you can set it to pre-fader or post-fader. So right now we are in post-pan mode. So if we go over to that guy, we can see it's in post-pan. So if you wanted to switch every input over to pre-fader for that uh, specific monitor mix or effects mix, you can just select it. And now we are pre-fader for every send going there. So as we scroll through, you can see there's different colors. So green is your input. So that is straight off the input after your gain, but before everything else. Pre-fader is after your input and after your plugins, but pre-fader. Post-fader is after your fader, so if you turn your fader up or down, it'll affect what's going there. Then post-pan is after everything and panning left and right. So if it's panned right at front of house, it'll be panned right either in the effect or the monitor that it's going to. You have 24 total stereo or mono or a mix between of sends that you can send wherever and for whatever. You know, they can all be for effects. So you can have 24 different effects lines. They can all be monitors. So you have 24 in-ear monitors or stage monitors or any mix between. Another nice thing we have is going to be a copy mix from. So you can copy a mix from a different monitor mix, from a different effects mix, from your left, right, from your center, or your mono. And that is all about your monitors and your effects.